1956, the Suez Crisis caused England to reel from high fuel prices. To help address the need for fuel economy, Morris Company engineer Alec Isigoni designed a compact, affordable, and fuel-efficient car that can comfortably transport four adults. Thus, in 1959, the Mini was born. After about 63 years since its debut, the Mini continues to bring its unique go-kart feel, innovative design, and advanced technologies in its small yet powerful vehicles. And on today's test drive, we are going to put a spotlight on the newest, biggest, and most versatile member of the Mini family, the 2022 Mini Countryman Cooper S. The Mini Countryman Cooper S is a welcome addition to the local crossover market. Its popularity around the world is evidenced by the fact that the Mini Countryman makes up almost 30% of the car company's new registrations around the world. Though compact, it can comfortably seat up to five people, making it a good family car option. Plus, it has all-wheel drive, providing great traction on and off the road. To top it all off, the sport variant's iconic and bold design is eye-catching, to say the least. As previously mentioned, the Mini Countryman is the British car brand's biggest offering. Ito po ang featured vehicle natin today, ang Cooper S variant. This is 4,299mm long, 1,822mm wide, and 1,557mm high. It also has a wheelbase of 2,670 millimeters. Across the board, it's larger than the five-door 2022 Mini Cooper. Mapapatingin ka talaga sa unique look ng Mini Countryman Cooper S. Yung itsura niya, designed to match how sporty and powerful it is. The car features striking lines and a new piano black exterior trim. A bumper covering that is entirely in body finish a roof rack, and a radiator grille that features a hexagonal grid pattern. For the Cooper S variant, meron itong kapansing-pansing red S inscription sa harap. LED naman ang headlights, fog lights, and DRLs nito. LED din ang upright rear lights that are accentuated by a chrome frame and feature the union jack pattern. Pagdating naman sa gulong, Meron itong 19-inch turnstile spoke, two-tone wheels with run-flat tires. Run-flat tires can allow you to continue driving for a certain period of time kahit na mapuncture o mabutas ang gulong hanggang sa makarating ka sa ligtas na patag na lugar kung saan pwede ka na na makapagpalit ng gulong. Under the hood, the Midi Countryman Cooper S is powered by a four-cylinder, two-liter, 16-valve petrol engine with Midi Twin Power Turbo technology. It has a maximum output of 192 horsepower at 5,000 to 5,500 RPM and 280 Newton meters of torque at 1,350 to 4,600 RPM. This vehicle also features a 7-speed automatic Steptronic dual-clutch sport transmission. It has an average fuel consumption of 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. It can also go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 7.5 seconds. This Mini has a top speed of 226 kilometers per hour. The Mini Countryman Cooper S is not just a joy to look at. Its beautiful and functional interiors also make it a complete delight to travel in. Let's take a peek inside this premium crossover. Built with a spacious and versatile interior, the Mini Countryman Cooper S has five fully-fledged seats, which gives everyone inside it superior riding comfort. Additionally, the front seats are electrically adjustable, which provide great back support para sa driver and front passenger. Truly, this car will make you feel that it always has your back. 
technically and figuratively. Ito pong electrically adjustable seat sa driver side has a memory function kung saan pwede ka mag-save ng dalawang magkaibang individual seat configurations. This is very useful especially if there are two drivers in the family who will be taking turns driving this car. Isang pindot lang, yun na yung setting para sa'yo. The Mini Countryman Cooper S comes with a digital 5-inch colored cockpit display just behind the steering wheel. Meanwhile, the connected navigation plus system comes with an 8.8-inch touchscreen color display that provides navigation and offers wireless charging for compatible phones. For connectivity, the Countryman Cooper S offers wireless Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, USB, and AUX-IN. It also has a Harman Kardon sound system and an automatic climate control air conditioning system. Hmm, kung gusto mong paupo-upo sa inanim ng puno, meron ka nang hahatakin lang dito. You just have to pull this out and you have an automatic seat. As for its trunk space, the Mini Countryman Cooper S can accommodate 450 liters worth of cargo. Lucky, lucky. The back seats can also be folded flat to offer a maximum cargo capacity of 1,390 liters. For its safety features, the Countryman is equipped with six airbags, active driving assistant, active cruise control, and power lift gate. The 2022 Mini Countryman has four variants, including the Cooper, the Cooper SE Hybrid, the John Cooper Works, at ito pong variant na ito na ating susubukan sa kalsada maya-maya lamang, ang Cooper S. The Mini Countryman comes in more different colors. The Countryman S retails for 3,750,000 pesos. The price is undeniably steep, but today we'll find out if its performance, comfort, and style can eclipse its big price tag. Samahan niyo po ako ang test drive itong 2022 Mini Countryman Cooper S. instrument panel mo, lusot pa rin. Makikita mo pa rin. Okay nga naman yun. It makes sense, no? Kasi minsan, pag nag-adjust ka nito, pag in mo yung steering wheel mo, binaba mo or tinaas mo, depende dun sa kung ano yung choice mo para sa adjustment, natatakpan ko minsan yung instrument panel. Nasa gitna na. Pero ito, kasama, so it moves with the steering wheel yung instrument panel mo so you can still see the same uh, propagation dun sa instrument panel mo simple lang naman yung kanyang instrument panel uh, at uh, meron kang dash monitor ng speedometer mo nakikita mo yun dun sa pinakaharap so you don't need to look down a bit dito sa may harap ng steering wheel mo. Simple lang naman yung pinakaharap but it's uh, elegant, no? Even yung upuan niya, maganda yung pag-upo mo. Hindi ka basta gagalaw kung may mga sharp turns kang gagawin. And stability, okay, very stable yung handling niya. The ride is smooth naman and powerful ah. malakas yung engine niya dun sa build niya parang powerful siya dahil one factor din yung hindi masyadong mabigat pero malakas ang makina okay naman hindi naman ma vibration although medyo dinig mo yung ingay ingay ng gulong ingay sa labas pero yung kanyang steering wheel stable ganda sa ang maneuvering niya okay sides mo ng lahat ng 
side view, rear view mirrors. Maganda ang view niya. Air conditioner niya, maayos ang AC. Kahit na ngayon medyo tirik ang araw natin, no? Compensated. At yung gamit nito na, no? Salamin dito sa kanyang window, even yung windshield niya. Maganda yung pag-control uh, niya doon sa pasok ng init sa loob. Kahit hindi, kahit hindi dark yung ano niya, hindi siya nakatint, no? Na madilim na maganda yung pasok at pigil niya ng init ng galing sa araw sa labas. Which is also very important kasi pagka ganyan. And malaki to. Spacious naman. Talagang pang tapat na sa crossover. Kaya lang, syempre, titignan mo pa din talaga yung price comparison mo and yung need mo. Pero when it comes to power, hindi ka mabibitin sa power nito. Malakas sumatap. Parang powerful siya para sa katawan niya, para dun sa binibit-bit niyang katawan. No? When it comes to the suspension, fair enough. No? Okay naman yung talbog niya kanina. Meron tayong short uh, off-road, na uh, light off-road. Nararamdaman natin naman na maganda naman yung riding comfort niya. Dito naman sa highway, yung pagbabago ng mga klase ng roads na dinadaanan mo, hindi naman nagiging ganun ka noticeable sa kanya. Dahil maganda naman yung talbog niya. Well, surprise, if money is not an issue, uh, well, depende na kung kursunata mo o hindi, pero yung riding mo, yung, yung comfort mo, yung kailangan mo, power and all, hindi ka naman mabibitin. Pero syempre, consider mo kasi yung pangangailangan mo talaga. Kaya, dun sa 3.7 something na presyo ng Mini Cooper, to those that are thinking of just having an iconic car like this na maganda, walang wala ka namang ano na, irereklamo pa sa, sa ride and all, no? And the features, the technology that they are using. Even the safety features of the car. Wala ka namang, no? wala ka namang marereklamo dito. Alakas din naman sa akyatan. Maganda din sa cornering table naman. Hindi natin kung ano ang difference pag nilagay natin sa sport dynamic. Ayun. Ganun. Yun, nandun dun yung response niya talaga. Pag naka-sport mode siya, syempre, mas malakas kumain ng gas. Pero, yung response niya, ramdam mo kagad. Pag-apak mo sa accelerator. Uh, iba yung lakas ng response niya kapag nag-gas on ka as compared sa kung lalagay natin sa mid o yung balanced setting medyo may delay kung naka green o yung minimalism mahatak din naman kagad pero iba yung hatak no naka-sport talaga. Sport. Iba yung ano niya. Iba yung response. Mas ma-bilis mag-respond. Mm -hmm.